Are you feeling a little left behind with the AI revolution because you can't grasp some of the actual tools? You're not alone. Many business professionals actually miss out on the immense benefits of AI simply because they don't know where to start. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how understanding some of the basics of ChatGPT and some of the other AI tools can save you tens of thousands of dollars and countless hours and give you back your competitive edge. And towards the end, I'll actually show you the exact tool I use to simplify everything from conversations, social media, maintaining business reputation management, all with the push of a button. Today, we're gonna to be exploring ChatGPT, powerful AI technology transforming the professional landscape. If you're new to this, don't worry. By the end of this guide, you'll be well equipped to use ChatGPT and streamline everything and boost your business productivity. Well, let's get started. What exactly is AI or chat GPT? Well, it stands for artificial intelligence. It's a branch of computer science that aims to create machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks include understanding neural language, recognizing patterns, making decisions, or even solving problems. GPT stands for generative pre-trained transformers. It's a type of AI developed by OpenAI. It's a powerful tool that can understand and generate human-like text. So here's a simple breakdown. Generative means that it can create new content. For example, it can actually write articles, it can generate responses in a conversation, or it can even come up with creative ideas. Pre-trained means that GBT has already been trained on a vast amount of text data from the internet. This training helps it understand context, produce relevant responses. And transformer, well, that means it refers to the architecture of the actual AI model. So transformers are a type of neuro network that excel in processing and generating text. They allow GPT to handle long paragraphs and complex sentences effectively. So in simpler terms, ChatGPT is very much like a smart text-based assistant, or actually, we can now even use voice commands, but you can give it some input, like you can ask them a question or give it a prompt, and it generates thoughtful human-like responses based on its vast knowledge base that it's acquired during its training. This makes it incredibly useful for tasks like drafting emails, creating contacts, or content, and even analyzing data. Let's get into the nitty gritty. If you're just starting out, here's a bit of a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually get you up and running with chat GPT. First, how to sign in. First, go into the OpenAI website. If you don't have an account, just sign up for one. And if you have one already, just simply log in and you can use one of your simple sign-in methods here through Google or Microsoft or even Apple AI. Now we're into chat GPT. The first thing I'm gonna tell you about is you can actually choose what type of plan that you wanna be on. You can either be on the free plan where you get access to GPT 3.5, which is a super powerful tool and can help you with a variety of tasks, but it might have a slower response time during peak usage and limited access to different advanced features. Or if you opt in for a paid plan, you get different types of benefit. Paid plans are around about $20 a month, super affordable, especially when you realize exactly what you're actually getting with this. And with those paid plans, you get access to GPT-4 and 4.0, which are enhanced versions with better understandings and generation capabilities. They're actually more accurate and they can handle more complex tasks more efficiently. They have faster response times, Paid users also get the experience, quicker responses, even during high traffic periods. You get priority access also to new features. Paid subscribers also get access and early access to new updated features that are as soon as they're released. And threads on this page, they're over here on the left-hand side. So think of threads as just a great way to keep your conversations organized. So each new chat that you start, starts in a new thread. It makes it easy to manage refer back to multiple discussions so you can keep everything organized. And this feature is particularly useful for professionals handling different types of projects or tasks simultaneously. Okay, so next let's talk about prompting. So how do you actually prompt in chat GPT? can significantly impact the quality of the responses that you actually get back. So let's start with the basics and then we'll move to a more advanced 
prompt. So let's start with a very basic three-step prompt. And this basic prompt is really straightforward. And here it helps set the context for the AI. And I'll give you some examples, but basically the three-step prompt is you are, I will, you will. So let's give you another example. You are a social media expert. I will give you an outline of the actions and intentions that I want you to do, and I will provide you with different things. You will specify these actions for the AI so that an example would be, you will generate a professional email response to a customer complaint, or you will organize a social media post, whatever that may be. So to go back through this again, just remember, you are, I will, you will. It's a very simple three-stage prompt, but super powerful. You are a travel agent. I will give you details about my travel plans and you will create a detailed itinerary for me. That is an excellent prompt for ChatGPT. It's an excellent prompt for any AI model that you might be using, but we do know that even with that useful prompt, sometimes we need something just a little bit more. So if we need more precise, then we actually define the prompt a little bit more and we use what we call the RICE framework. The RICE stands for R-I-C-C-E and the R stands for role, the I for instruction, C for context, second C for constraints, and the last E for examples. So here's a breakdown, the RICE framework example. So if I said here is the R, so I'm gonna ask you to act as a virtual assistant. The I is for instruction. So example, automate the scheduling of a meeting between team members based on their different availability. The C, I give it context. So I say, the team uses Google Calendar to track availability. Each meeting should last no more than 30 minutes. They must not overlap with each other and make sure that none of the events are in conjunction with each other. Priority is given to the meetings that also include the team leader. And then I add, a certain amount of constraints. So I say, make sure that no meetings are scheduled outside of working hours, which are nine to five. Avoid scheduling back-to-back -back meetings for any individuals and do not schedule meetings during the lunch hours between 12 and one. So the last thing I wanna do is just give it some examples. So I say, if the team leader is available at 10 a.m. and the other two members are also free, schedule the meeting in at that time. If no suitable time is found within the week, send a notification to reschedule other non-critical tasks. And then I give it an example confirmation email, maybe just, hey, dear name, your meeting is scheduled for, then please confirm your availability. You can also share prompts like this with your staff or team members. This ensures consistency right across the board, and here's how you do that. So if you have a prompt that works particularly well, just make sure you save it, and then up here in the top right, you can share this with your team members and you can share this link through email or through a shared document or even through your team's communication platforms. And just remember by mastering these prompting techniques, you'll be able to leverage ChatGPT more effectively in your professional workflows. And you'll make sure to check all the descriptions below because I'm gonna include some links to some of these prompts so that you can just adapt them to your own needs. Next, let's talk about custom instructions. Customizing ChatGPT to fit your specific needs can make it even more powerful and efficient. So here's how you set that up and some tips so that you can get the most out of it. Okay, so to find custom instructions, you just look up here on the right-hand side, you access settings, and then straight away on the main page, you look for the settings icon. It's usually represented by a little gear icon. You click on that, navigate to custom instructions, and away we go. And this is where you can tailor the ChatGPT's behavior to better suit your own requirements. Now, some tips for filling out custom instructions. When filling out the instructions, make sure you're clear and direct about what you actually want the chat GPT to do. For instance, if you prefer concise answers, include a directive like give short responses, give no fluff, all right? Ensure the AI is gathering all the necessary information. So give it something else to maybe instruct to ask you some clarifying questions to, for example, like ask me three more questions that I haven't yet thought of or asked that could be helpful in this situation. That's a really great way to expand on the situation and use AI to direct you so you can direct it. You can also create specific personas for different tasks 
and call on them by using different hashtags. This allows you to quickly switch the AI's focus based on your needs. And here's some examples. So in our case, we might use three different examples. Hashtag social, we'll be able to set the AI to behave like a social media expert, giving tips on maybe creating engaging content or using the latest trends. Or hashtag legal, we'll have the AI switch and act as a legal advisor. It will start providing insights on drafting contracts and legal letters. If I go hashtag data, I can actually configure the AI to start helping with data analysis, start offering insights, patterns based on the provided data sets. For more detailed examples and best practices around this, make sure you visit the chat GPT blog. The blog is fantastic. It's a great resource. It offers a variety of tips and different examples on how to use, customize your instructions effectively. You'll also find articles on how to deep dive into various use cases that help you maximize the potential of the AI and ChatGPT in total. Okay, so now let's explore some practical use cases for ChatGPT in a professional setting. So this is all based around business. Now these examples will demonstrate how versatile and how powerful this tool can actually be in different aspects of business operations. Now, the first one is how to upload and ask ChatGPT to for design feedback around an image. Now you can upload your own image. In this case, I'm gonna upload an image of a video that we've done recently. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT for design feedback. And now this could be especially useful for different content creators looking to enhance their visual appeal. So simple prompt here, uh, I'm just gonna ask AI, you are a design expert, please just provide some feedback on this thumbnail image and let's have a look at the constructive insights that it gives back. Number two is hiring people. This is fantastic, especially if you're hiring virtual assistants or VAs overseas, it's crucial to outline the job descriptions clearly. Use AI, it'll help you draft detailed, precise job descriptions. It'll ensure you attract the right candidates. For example, just prompt it with, you're a hiring manager, help me write a job description for my virtual assistant who will manage my calendar and my email and you'll get everything all laid out. Number three, different disputes and legal letters. Look, handling disputes is no fun and crafting legal letters can be time consuming or super, super expensive, right? So ChatGPT can generate professional, well-structured legal documents. All you have to do is use a prompt like, you are a legal advisor, draft a formal letter addressing a client dispute regarding this mispayment or whatever it may be. Make sure that you add your country, make sure you add any regulations that you're aware of and ChatGPT can access those documents and certainly break it down, saving you absolute bucket loads. Anyone that's dealt with this in the past, trying to draft legal letters and using, it's not only time consuming, you're waiting weeks for that information to come back. Use sometimes the legal people are just literally saying, just put $10,000 in this account and just leave it there. And we will tell you when we need more, we're just gonna keep drafting and drafting and drafting. You can do that all now in AI, ChatGPT, it can get you operational and then you take that information back to your lawyer, make sure that they sign off on that before you actually send it out. Another great use scenario is employment contracts. Creating different employment contracts requires attention to detail. So ChatGPT, it can actually help you draft comprehensive contracts that cover all your different necessary clauses. For instance, you can prompt it as a legal expert, you can say, help me write an employment contract for a new sales representative, and it can break it all down. It can give job descriptions, breaks down all of the different clauses that you need. It's sensational, it'll save you a bucket load of time. The next one I am going to write and speak about, number five is data analytics. So we use this one this morning. If you have a CSV file with data and lots of data that needs to be analyzed, ChatGPT can actually assist in not just interpreting the data, but generating insights from that data. You just use a simple prompt like, you are a data analysis, and then you add the CSV file, especially if you're using the paid plan. We did this this morning, as I said, we had a, we had a CSV file, had over 100,000 names in it. We needed to dissect, take out all the duplicates. We needed to convert and merge some of that document as well. There was multiple people, had different information. It was a long and tedious job for anybody trying to do that. 
we pumped that straight into the AI, made ChatGPT go through that analysis, and it happened. The entire process took no more than about four minutes from start, downloading, analyzing our data, writing out the new data sheet, the whole thing, and it was done flawless. It was amazing. So data analytics is unbelievable when it comes to this, but as I said, you will probably need the paid version depending on how big your data sets are. Number six, email sequences. Now, so let's leverage Hypeak Pro to actually highlight how it can actually handle the rest of these use cases effectively. So Hypeak Pro can help you create different email sequences that actually nurture your leads and keep your audiences engaged. So think of it as an example, you prompt it as you chat GBT to prompt it as you're a marketing expert. I want you to create, say, five emails in that sequence to introduce our new product line and encourage different signups. And then you use Hypeak Pro to automate those sequences so that they all go out on time. They can evergreen the content. So now you're actually covering the whole system from lead generation all the way through that follow-up sequence, all the way through to making sure that that client becomes a raving fan. Number seven goes back to lead generation, which was how do we create social media content? Now I briefly touched on this at the start, but High Peak Pro, you can generate engaging social media content using the AI, including the images, the posts, and the social calendars, and even the hashtags. You just simply prompt the AI, you set it in the right conditions, you make sure that you set all your social media to go out on different days, and you can actually create a whole social calendar all based around this. You can create weeks worth of social media in just a few hours, and you can knock it out of the park, including captions, hashtags, images, you name it, and you can do it all through AI, incredible. Number eight is using AI to convert some of those leads into the first stages of conversation. Now, this is where we use a combination of AI through ChatGBT and AI through Hypeak Pro because we want to manage the AI-driven conversations through all our social media interactions, through lead generation, through SMS marketing, and we can give it different prompts like, this is a customer engagement specialist. I want you to you know, deepen the uh, conversation. These are the parameters. These are the qualifying questions. This is how I want you to interact with these people. So you train the AI and then you set it loose and it acts as yourself. Now, one of the biggest benefits of this, it never gets gun shy. It never really gets shy on asking for a, for a sale. It always ha is driven to book the appointment, book the demo, whatever it is that you give it the intent to do. And the cool thing about it, it's never sick. It's always on time. It doesn't wait four or five days before it actually reaches out. It's on point, ready to go at all times. What else could you ask for? Number nine is actually training it on the website content. Now, as you probably realize, I'm actually going backwards with some of these or forwards in the sales process and then going backwards and forwards. I'm trying to do that so that I keep some context around why we would do certain things. Now, if we have people getting conversed with our social media content, we wanna make sure that it's trained on our content. It's not pulling genetic content or generic content, excuse me, it's from the internet. It's pulling our content from our website. So you can actually train ChatGPT from your website content and it understands your company policies and your tone. And this ensures that the AI actually represents your business super effectively. For example, you can give it different prompts like you're a content specialist or you gotta learn our company policies, our websites, create responses that reflect tone and your company values. And last but not least is a chat widget. Now, you think of this and we've all seen these in the past. You go to a website, you see a little chat widget at the bottom. The challenge is, is that you're usually capturing information and pushing that back to a CRM and you have a human on the other end exploring that, answering those questions, so you're never getting real-time responses. Not anymore. You hook up your AI, you set it on your chat widget, you teach it everything that you need to about your website, your tone, your policy, your values, everything else. You give it the intent, you make sure you train it exactly the way you want it, and then you set it loose. So anytime a customer comes to your website, they are looking to get booked, the chat widget is working for you, it's answering questions, it's leading to those demo calls. No longer are you wondering if they're being spoken to, 
they're not only being spoken to, they're being led to the promised land. They're being led to your offer and they're being done all through AI. So this is a combination of two big systems, ChatGBT and a system like HyP Pro. That is our system, of course. Uh, if you wanna know more information about that, just reach out to me directly. I'll be able to speak to you about that. It's a little bit to set up, but once it's set up, think of the time it will save. I want you as a business owner to start to think about having a chat widget that's trained fully on the information that you need ready to go so that those people go all the way through the social media side, getting images, leading content, follow up, a whole done, all done through AI. Just incredible. And you're able to automate the majority of that system and the parts that you don't, you'll be able to leverage AI to get follow up sequences, people overseas maybe VAs, maybe other staff members to help you out. Your business grows dramatically in a very short period of time and it's now or never, you actually have this ability with AI to fire this today. Okay, so these are some use cases. They demonstrate the diverse applications of ChatGPT in a business environment. And by integrating it into your workflows, you don't only save time, you improve your own efficiency, you enhance the quality of your output, and don't forget to check out the description below because I'm gonna share some links to those prompts that I spoke about and also some additional resources to just help you get started. Now, I know that we covered a lot in this video using ChatGPT in your business life from getting started with basic prompts to leveraging some of the more advanced features to even adding custom instructions. ChatGPT can significantly enhance your productivity and streamline a lot of your business tasks. But one of the key concerns about using AI is often around security and the security or the safety of your data. And OpenAI, look, it takes those concerns super serious and it tries to implement some robust measures to make sure your data is protected, but make sure that you take some extra small steps just to make sure that you can improve your data safety when using a system like ChatGPT. Make sure you use strong passwords, always use a strong unique password for your accounts to prevent any unauthorized access and regular updates. Keep your software, your AI tools updated and make sure that you not only benefit from all the security patches and different improvements, but you know review and adjust all the different privacy settings of ChatGPT to control what information is stored and how it starts to use it. By following just simple steps, you can start to ensure your interactions with ChatGPT remain secure and more confidential. All right, guys, big video today. Thanks very much for watching. Look, if you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your network. Look, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tutorials on using anything AI or any other productive or productivity tools like Hypeak Pro, just reach out. By subscribing, you also get to stay up to date with the latest trends, technologies that we come across to help keep your business ahead of the curve. Stay productive. We're gonna see you in the next video. Get out there, try it out and get amongst it.